In this video, I will explain Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm on elliptic curve. The aim of Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm is that Alice and Bob may create a common private key without uh, meeting each other and by sharing public information. So uh, we have Alice and Bob. In the start, Alice and Bob negotiate some public parameters. Uh, these parameters include uh, equation of elliptic curve Uh, the finite field on which that, that elliptic curve is defined and a point on elliptic curve that acts as a generator of that curve. Let's say that point is R. Now Alice will choose a number A from the set uh, 2, 3 and the last element of the set will be a cardinality of elliptic curve minus 1. Uh, similarly Bob will choose a number B uh, from the same set. Based upon the number A, Alice will compute uh, her uh, public key. So the public key will be A times generator. Similarly, Bob will also compute uh, his public key and the public key will be uh, B time generator. Subsequently, Alice and Bob will broadcast their uh, public keys. And uh, now, uh, Alice will compute a common private key. And the common private key will be the number A times the public key of Bob. And in case of Bob, common private key will be uh, the number B times the public key of Alice. And that's it. So now let's analyze it and think deeper. Uh, the first question can be asked that what kind of operations Alice and Bob has to do in order to compute a common private key. Alice and Bob can compute their uh, public keys and later on can compute their uh, common private key uh, using double and add algorithm. A uh, few lectures ago, we have discussed in detail how double and add algorithm works. Uh, if you have not seen that lecture, then I recommend you to uh, see that lecture. Double and add algorithm works in polynomial time, thus enabling Alice and Bob to, to quickly compute their uh, common private keys. A second question can be asked uh, that how come uh, KC a uh, computer using a, a times KB 
is same as kc compute uh, with b times ka so let's see we have a kb the question is is it same as uh, b ka so uh, we expand this this equation we have a kb is equals to br so we have uh, a b r is it same as uh, b we expand k a and k a is, is equals to a r b and a are numbers and numbers are commutative therefore we can switch their order uh, hence uh, a b r is equals to by switching order of b a we have a b r so so the uh, left hand side is equals to right hand side therefore proving that the uh, private key computed on both side is actually the same key and most important question can be asked that what stops uh, an an hacker to compute uh, the private key uh, uh, which is shared by both alice and bob so assume that we have a hacker Oscar. We first list the information known to Oscar. Oscar uh, knows about uh, elliptic curve equation. Oscar knows about finite field, the prime finite field. Uh, Oscar knows about the generator R because uh, this information is publicly available. Oscar also is listening to the broadcast information from Alice and Bob. Uh, thus, Oscar also knows about public key of Alice and public key of Bob. And aim of Oscar is to compute a common private key, KC. Oscar knows that common private key KC is equals to A times public key of uh, Bob are also equals to B times uh, public key of Alice. Oscar already know the public key of Alice and Bob. Hence Oscar has to find either value of A or value of B. So basically he has to find value of A or B. To this end, Oscar can use this equation and calculate A. Uh, this equation was easy for Alice because this is based upon generalized discrete logarithmic problem which we have discussed a few lectures ago and you can find it somewhere here. So this equation was easy uh, when uh, we already know A and we have to find a public key of Alice uh, but this equation is difficult if we know public key of uh, Alice and uh, we have to find A. It is because uh, when we know A and we have to find public key we can use a double and add algorithm whereas when we know public key of Alice and we have to find A then we have to use either brute force which take exponential time or we have some algorithm like uh, uh, baby step giant step that are a bit better than brute force but they are still not good enough to quickly compute a private key shared by both Alice and Bob. So before concluding our lecture uh, let's do an example of Diffie-Hellman key exchange. In this example, uh, Alice and Bob first decide about public parameters. Uh, that is, they decide about the elliptic curve. And the elliptic curve equation is y square is equals to uh, x cube uh, plus 2x plus 3. And the f it is defined on prime field uh, uh, 17. 
uh, and they decide about a generator of the elliptic curve. Uh, generator is point on elliptic curve P and the P coordinates are uh, 5 and 11. Now Alice and Bob uh, has to choose a number A and B respectively. So Alice choose a number A and A is equals to uh, 2 and Bob choose a number B and B is equals to 5. Alice compute his uh, uh, Alice compute hers uh, public key k a as equals to uh, two times uh, p, which is equals to we can f uh, use here double and add algorithm, and the answer is uh, fifteen and five. Similarly, uh, Bob compute his uh, public key uh, KB is equals to uh, B times generator uh, maybe generator should be R and as equals to the answer is uh, 2 comma 10 uh, Alice and Bob will broadcast their respective uh, public keys Based upon the public key received from each other, uh, they will compute their common private key. So in this case, Alice will compute K C common private key as equals to uh, Alice private key times uh, public key received from Bob K B and using um, add and double algorithm. Uh, the answer will be uh, 14 comma 2. Similarly, uh, Bob will perform same steps uh, KC as equals to private key of Bob 5 times uh, public key of Alice KB uh, KA as equals to the answer will be same 14 uh, comma 2. Alice and Bob can use this common uh, private key to run any symmetric algorithm. Uh, to this end, Alice and Bob can select either X coordinate or Y coordinate of this common private key. So that's it for uh, today. See you next time.